All right, we're going to go to you, you want to do Guardians now? Let's talk a little Guardians. I am yeah. very concerned, guys. I am too. I Yesterday, saw this. I, I'm terrified. Now, remember, Tristan McKenzie's had a bad spring, which I generally disregard. But now he left yesterday's game in what was his last spring training start with what's being described as a sore right arm. Now, Zach Meisel and others have put out that the Guardians did this as a precautionary measure mm-hmm. and that the, uh, my assumption was, okay, they're saying that maybe he would have stayed in if it was a regular season game. Right. However, we've talked about this before, Jay and G. I know. He is very slight of build. Dr. Stick. He's had injuries in the minors. This makes me very nervous. He is scheduled to pitch the second game of the year. For, remember, the season starts in three days. Yeah. Shane Bieber's pitching against Luis Castillo. Great pitching matchup. It is. Thursday Bieber, night. by the way, has been Lights Cy out. Young caliber Lights out. This is in Mariners the spring. Mariners are a good team. Yeah, they are. So it's a fun start. Yeah. Friday is supposed to be Tristan McKenzie and Robbie Ray. Another good pitching right. matchup. And so we'll know. Well, we'll know before that because if he's not going to pitch Friday, he'll probably go on the injured list. Yeah. Now, hope I'm just being scared. You're being scared for nothing. Yeah. But when my second best pitcher, my second most important pitcher, uh, leaves the game due to art, like if it was a uh, a tweak of his knee, of his uh, toe or 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 he was just fe- I don't know whatever he had a cold, no big deal. But when it's yeah. arm, that makes me nervous. I, I always say this, man. Like when pitchers when pitchers play poorly, right? Um, usually they don't pitch poorly because they're just getting hit hard. Usually they pitch poorly because something's wrong. Yeah, Almost always true. That's right. Because even when a guy can say, well, I'm struggling with my command. I know when I'm struggling with my command, it's because I'm compensating for something That's in right. my delivery. And then your mechanics get And your mechanics up. get yeah. tweaked just so you slightly. You have to be so perfect. So, yeah. gee, you're right. Now, that doesn't mean that every time a right. pitcher's in a slump. Sometimes sure. it's here. Yeah. That muscle's hurt. Right, right. But almost always, it is some kind of injury. Bull, we've talked about him at length. Yeah. He's skinny on TV. I sat with him for uh, an interview. And by the way, he was probably one of the most fun interviews I've done in a long time. He's just a great, great kid. Yeah. 6'5", 165. Guys, think about that. I mean, that is That's crazy. You're 6'5", aren't you? Yes. And I, I, I was 165 when I was born. So you're probably, <laughs> I'm guessing, close to double his weight. Yes. Can you imagine being half your body mass right now? And he, throw, and he throwing that hard. And the thing is... He's putting a lot of stress and torque on that. He he throws the ball hard. He actually yeah. gets backspin with yeah. the baseball. Very few people can pull that off like he does. I'm terrified. Yeah. Hopefully it's nothing. I will say that early in the season, when you go from, and I'm not saying he did nothing in the offseason, but when you go from zero to 100, um, those muscles, the, the only way to get those muscles used to the process is to go through the process. You can work out all you want, but there's no substitute for throwing a baseball a hundred right. times at max velocity. And I don't like the fact that that this arm is vague. Now look, <laughs> I didn't had a lot of surgeries. There's there's ways they can minimize it. If you tore your ACL, technically that is a leg injury, right? But they could have said shoulder stiffness. They could have said a lot of things, forearm tightness. They right. said that would demand arm. Good either, so right? you know what I'm hoping. So yeah. and this is when I read that I said, okay, for me it's either elbow or shoulder. That, that, and Unless, want... and I'll tell you that uh, oftentimes I get pitcher fatigue right here. Mm-hmm. So it's not a shoulder, it's not right. an elbow, it's you know the biceps tendon right, 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 in yeah. here. And when I when I heard arm, I thought, okay, maybe and and this will give you great fatigue right. and soreness. But it's nothing Not structural. Serious, yeah. It's just that lactic acid burn that you create mm-hmm. when you're burning. And that it could be that. I'm just guessing. But I've yeah. had, I'll tell guys, like in the middle of the season, late in the season, like in August, I get, I call it dead arm. I get it every year. I just feel like I can't throw more than 60 miles an hour. Yeah. Like I feel like if I really tried to put something on the baseball, it would kill my arm. And it lasts about 10 to 15 days. Sometimes it keeps me out too. And then all of a sudden, I bounce back from it, and I feel right. like I'm at spring training. Well, we'll know. know in the next 48 hours because they we have will. to set their roster. They'll probably – I guess they don't have to set Do you it. have a gut? I, my gut is he won't be on it. That's my gut. Oh, yeah. that 15-day DL. Uh, it, well, it's no longer a 15-day DL, what right? What is it now? It so, is for pitchers. Oh, so it they, is for pitchers. They, 
two years ago or three years ago, they went to a 10 10, DL. Right, right. And teams were playing games with pitchers. They were working it, yeah. So what they did last year is it's still 10 for hitters, but it's 15 for pitchers. I'll ask you guys. So that would be at least two starts. I'll ask you you this question. You know, I'm in the science, and, and you know, there's a documentary, I think it's a couple years old, that they talked about how um, pitching is the most unnatural. It is. You right. move in sports. It, it, Jay said every pitch you throw, you're just closer to just do, messing something. The underhand right. is yeah. the way. Underhand right. is a natural throwing. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. So my thing is, why is it if they're they're pitching less innings? How how where were these injuries at when I just watched something on Nolan Ryan and he's 50. Did you watch the way. documentary on, on Nolan Ryan? Yes. yes. Oh, it was oh, fantastic. It? Oh, yeah, 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 it was yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was it great, was wasn't great. It? You recommend yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, Thank it you. Awesome. Right. If you're a baseball fan or a Nolan Ryan fan, I mean, you don't phenomenal. even have to be a baseball fan. It's a great story. It is so great. And by the way, I, I'll rem- I mentioned this at the time when I watched it. I'll mention it again. So lame that Ventura. Robin Ventura like, is Come a, on, dude. He, come on, bro. You show up. Yes, he, he is. Everybody talked. Come on. Get and over he didn't it. want to talk because he was famously, infamously remembered for yeah, getting yeah, his yeah. ass kicked when he charged the mound on the wrong guy. I, I don't remember. I don't remember Randy Johnson getting hurt. Like, I don't remember Nolan Ryan. I don't remember all the Tommy Johns. I don't well, remember all. Of, what happened? I don't know this for sure. This is what some of the old timers have told me. I had an old pitching coach who pitched in the major leagues tell me this. We didn't wait train. We pitched. And I thought that was interesting because I said, what do you mean by that? He goes, when you wait train, you're building up everything. When you just pitch, you're building up the muscles that need to be built up. Right. And it was almost like, he goes, this sounds oxymoronic, but it was almost like our mechanics in here were rubber tires and the more we used them the more rubber we built on them that's crazy well and where now everything is so scientific kinetic the movements and yeah you can put all these muscle uh programs in and these weight programs in but oftentimes i saw karen check and i asked him this i go bro you're borderline too big to pitch. <laughs> he is. Just, he came in. He goes, "Sun's out, guns out, boys." He had sleeves. He had sleeves cut off. Right. And I'm telling you, he was ripped. I go, "You got to stop with the biceps." Right. You're looking borderline Tim Tebow. You and and he was laughing, and we were having a laugh about it. When I finished up, I go mix in some uh, some biceps in your workouts. You're getting small. He he to me looks like he's too big to pitch. Right. And guys, they used to talk about back in the day about being flexible and being. Like, now it's just about how strong you can be. And I don't know that that makes you a – I don't know. I mean – It's the Tom Brady. Lengthen and elongate your muscles. Yes. Right. That's, literally yes. that's the TB12 method. That is it. You see so many – like, I feel like there's so many – now they baby the players more. They and do. And any little tweet – like, back in the day, guys would pitch through more. Yeah. Plus, you know, if you had if you had to have Tommy John surgery back in the day, there was no Your such career thing. was over. It was it. You yeah. just didn't pitch anymore. Right. That's still – if you're at home, if you want to just see what we're talking about, make an L with it right here. Yeah. And, and twist your arm this way or oh, this yeah. way. They said that ligament get, it only takes five to seven pounds That's of it. pressure before it snaps. Yeah. Now, and it, the, the funny thing about the pitching motion, when I had my, I tore my labrum and biceps tendon, my surgeon said, I said, what can I do differently? He said, nothing. Stop pitching. <laughs> Stop. He said, because, yeah. because here's the thing. The, the muscles that you've damaged, the tissue that you've damaged, is essentially the brake pads on a car. And which was interesting. He says, it's not so much the throw and the velocity. It's the sudden stop at the end of it. Imagine going 75 miles an hour and slamming on your brakes and coming to a stop within inches a hundred times. What that's going to do to those brake pads, you, you know, you're going to tear them and it's, you're going to destroy them in time. Yeah. And so there's, you know, it, it's an unnatural movement. There's always going to be injury, but you're right. Yeah. Dudes used to pitch 300. I'm, gosh. There was no bullpens back in the day. No. You pitched. If you were the starting pitcher, <laughs> you, just you pitched. Yeah, right. I mean, you, if the game went 12 innings, you pitched back you, in the day. You pitched. By the way, one last thing on, on the Guardians have finalized their roster pending injuries of yeah. Tristan McKenzie. They are keeping three catchers. Which I, I was I, stunned I don't understand. by that. And only I, four outfielders. Right. Yeah, Will Brennan will be the fourth outfielder to start the season. Oh, wow, he did. Now, he did. Two and veterans. kudos to Will. Shout out to him. He yeah, we pumped for him. Yeah. Two, like, journeyman kind of veteran backup catchers. Ken yeah. Gallagher 
and a guy named Mebris Valori, I think is how you Right, yeah, I didn't know. He was I, with Kansas City. Yeah, I know nothing been, about he's him. He's not. Gallagher's been around the while. I think the reason for that, Bull, yeah. is it gives them more pinch hitting flexibility and it will give them a chance to get Brennan and Arias at bats. Because I don't know, you do not want these kids sitting on the bench and hitting twice a week. Mm. It's, it's right. stunting their growth to yeah. do that. And when Jason was in Arizona last week, he said the staff is not concerned. He said there's going to be plenty of opportunities. And yeah. Curtis even said that a little bit too for both yeah. Brennan and Arias. So my guess is with those three catchers, it does give you more flexibility. Yeah, I, and maybe you can sneak Zanino, them in. But Zanino's got a power bat. If he's healthy, I don't know that. I, like those guys, yeah. I know, I, I know. I just, you know, again, it's, it's not traditional. It's a minor criticism. It's not right. that big a deal. You rarely see three catchers these days. It's very rare. I can't unless, remember the last time. Unless one of the guys, there are a couple teams who have done it. In but most long cases, term, did they have, did no, it's I mean, very it's rare. almost like a, like a, not a, a gimmick move, but it's like, it's a trick. Yeah, it's, and I think they're using it in this case right. to make sure that they have pinch hitting flexibility to get Arias yeah. and Brennan more at bats. The, the last, the Cubs did it in 2016, if you remember when Contreras came up. They did have three, up, you're right. They Ross, had, Gabe, uh, 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 Mike, Miguel Montero, yeah, Montero. and Ross. Yeah, but, and you know, but two of the three could hit. And wasn't one of them like a designated catcher for Ross was uh, Lester's uh, for catcher. Lester? Yeah, yes. So, the, but and but it's very rare. And usually, when you see it, it's because one of the three is a really good hitter who could you might DH or yeah. maybe even could play first base a little bit. And you but got you a rarely, defensive stalwart that can right, come in. But you rarely see it with three. Catcher only guys. Yeah. I mean, it's it's, it's a bit it's odd, it's, but it's a bit, they probably won't do it's it. It's more than ten percent of their roster. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah.